Very good morning. Welcome to Similarity Part 2 for 10th standard. Now, as well in the last session, I told you regarding the basic proportionality theorem. In a triangle, when a line is drawn parallel to a side of a triangle, it intersects the other two sides in the same proportion. That is basic proportionality theorem. Now here, the angle bisector property, again we'll use the same property and then we'll go to the application of basic proportionality and then we'll start with the exercises. So the first is here, the angle bisector property, what it says that in a triangle, the angle bisector divides the side opposite to it in the ratio of remaining two sides. That is, here, for example, in triangle A, B, C, ray A, D bisects angle A, that is angle B, A, C. That is, if it is of 60 degree, so it divides, ray A, D divides B, A, C in 30 degree, 30 degree respectively. So it divides the opposite side, that is B, C, into side, that is into ratio B, D, and DC in the ratio of remaining two sides that is AB and AC respectively. So the same we'll see here. Say for example, in triangle given in triangle ABC. Now here in triangle ABC, this is my area. This is our field. Now in triangle ABC, ray AD bisects angle. B A C that is the field. Now what I have to prove that it bisects the side opposite to it. Side opposite to it means side opposite to angle A. Now which side is opposite to angle A? B C that is B D upon D C in the ratio of remaining two sides. Now which are the remaining two sides? A B and A C. A B upon AC. For this I need construction. Now construction. What it is? CE. I have drawn CE to show it a parallel to AD. In ninth standard you all are acquainted with the parallel lines. In the last session also I told you the parallel. When the two lines are parallel. Now parallel means the three conditions. The distance between them two should be one and the same, they should not intersect each other, they should lie in the same plane. So here, draw in construction, which I have already drawn, draw line CE parallel to ray AD, extend AB which intersect which intersect CE in point P. Now this is my construction. Now generally it is known as the angle bisector property or seven steps theorem. Seven step proof. Generally they, they won't ask you the entire theorem just the application part for two marks or when you are using the property in sum that is for half or one mark now here once again when i will if i don't know the proof suppose i've drawn the diagram i've written given to prove construction of this everything is perfect but in proof i don't know anything how much i will get yes zero if it is of three marks I get 0. If it is 4 marks, again I will get 0. So to get substantial, to get substantial here, and once again I have to repeat given. Now we'll go step by step. How will you get it? Now if here I have written the given, what it is in triangle ABC, the AD bisects angle ABC, that is given. Only that much. Which constitute or which results? that or which will give me one mark out of three or one and a half out of four. So don't forget to write given. If you want to be in a race, 
Now, what I have, what, let's repeat it given in triangle ABC, AD bisects angle ABC. Now, bisect, as I told you, if it is of 60 degree, 30, 30 respectively, or if it is of 40, 20, 20, if it is of 120, then 60, 60. So, Ray AD bisects angle BAC. Which two angles are equal? Angle BAD congruent to angle CAD. That is number one. How you got number one? That is Ray AD bisects which angle? BAC. So BAC is divided into two equal parts. That is BAD and CAD. These two angles are equal. Now, as we have already written that CE is parallel to AD. This one. CE is parallel to AD. Segment CE as parallel to Ray AD. How you got it? Construction. Reasons are important. Now, once again, when the two lines are parallel and if they are intersected by one transversal, say for example, AD and CE are parallel, they are intersected by one transversal, AC. So three types of angles have been formed, corresponding, alternate and interior. So here, here we use the same, what you have, you all are acquainted with your nine standard properties that then two lines are parallel and the angles made by a transversal. So angle made by a transversal AC are may be corresponding, may be alternate or may be interior. Corresponding and alternate are congruent. Interior angles are supplementary. So here BAD, angle BAD, congruent BAD, congruent to AEC. AEC, what type of angle these are? BAD, this one and this one. This are corresponding angles corresponding angles that is my number two mind it whatever you are proving after given just give them consecutive numbers one two again we'll get it here c a d angle c a d C A D congruent to C A D A C E. Now you all are, as I told you, you all are aware that it is a Z type D A C A C E Z type angle. Alternate angles. Alternate angles. This is my number three. Now from one, two, three, what you can say? See, BAD is congruent to CAD, but here BAD is congruent to AEC. Again here CAD, CAD is congruent to AEC. So from 1, 2, 3, what I can say? These two angles, forget about BAD and CAD because already we have used here. So AEC and ACE are congruent. So here again I will repeat it. Therefore, angle AEC congruent to angle ACE. On the reason from where you got? from 1, 2 and 3. Now, if the two angles are congruent, so what you can say about angle triangle ACE, where are the two sides or two angles are congruent? We can say it is an isosceles triangle. Now, these two angles we say are alternate angles, but these two angles are congruent. So, what type of angle AC, triangle ACE is? An isosceles triangle. So, therefore, in triangle, again you frame the boundary AEC. Therefore, in triangle AEC, when you are using the triangle, it is side. Side angle, side opposite to angle E, AC. Congruent to side, side opposite to angle C, AE. Reason. Isosceles triangle theorem. That is my number four. See, from given you got one, two, and three. 
Now from 1, 2, 3, we have proved that it is an isocellular triangle. The property of isocellular triangle, when the two sides are congruent, the angle opposite to them are congruent. If the two angles are congruent, the side opposite to them are also congruent. So we wrote, here I wrote isocellular triangle theorem. Now forget about this one, this boundary. Let's begin with again our original triangle. But here it is extended to E. So we'll use the triangle in triangle BEC, the full one. As what, what it says, CE is parallel to AD. CE is parallel to AD. So what we can say here, in the last session I told you when a line is drawn parallel to a side of a triangle, it bisects other two sides in the same ratio. That is basic proportionality theorem. So BEC, no need to write again and again that CE is parallel to AD. Already we have written. So BEC, directly you, how you can write the property? That is BA upon AE is equal to BD upon DC. What property you can use here? What you can say? It is basic proportionality theorem. Mind it, it is number 5, but no abbreviations are allowed. You write full form, basic proportionality theorem. You can write BPD. So now what you can say from 4 and 5? See, BA upon A. But let's go back to our number 4. What it says? AE is equal to AC. So here substitute it. Instead of A, you are free to write or you can write AC. That is, this is 4 and 5. So from 4 and 5. BA will be as it is. Instead of AE, I will substitute AC is equal to right side will remain as it is BD upon DC and that is my destination BA upon AC BD upon DC so here again you have to write the that statement to get 3 out of 3 don't forget it hence we can prove that property as I told you what property is what property says and an angle bisect in a triangle angle bisector divides the side opposite to it that is BD upon DC in the ratio of the remaining two sides BA upon AC please go through it again we'll meet it in while using the application of basic proportionality and then we'll start with the exercise please go through it